Well, good morning and praise the Lord. Welcome back to Abundant Life's Morning Minutes. I'm so glad to be able to speak to you today. I hope your week is going well. Um, sometimes the word I want to share with you all is something that I heard from a couple weeks ago in a sermon by Mary Satoma about faith. About how faith fills the gap between God's promise and His fulfillment. And a lot of times I have to remember to hold on to the faith and realize that no matter how long it may seem, God's word will come to pass. And taking some time to just think on the word, I thought of a story back in the book of John about the man at the pool of Bethesda. So let's go ahead and open up the word and read it. Amen. I'm going to be reading from John chapter 5, verses 2 through 9. And the word reads, Now in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, there is a pool, in which Hebrew is called Bethesda, having five porches, and these lay a great crowd of invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed, waiting for the movement of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time to the pool and stirred up the water. After stirring up the water, whoever stepped first, stepped in first, was healed of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man who had been had an illness for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been in that condition now a long time, he said to him, Want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred. But while I'm coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. Immediately the man was healed, took up his bed and walked. That day was the Sabbath. So may God have the blessing to read on this word. So what I got from that story it was incredible. This man has been sick for 38 years. He had this illness. He was laying by the pool where everyone else was sick. And at each and every time the water was stirred by the angel, he would try to go down there, but someone would beat him to it. And he knew that else would be his healing. But we have to remember that in his word, God said that he is the healer, that he can heal. That he sent Jesus down to heal the, and to help the broken heart of those who are in need of help. Now that man has been there for 38 years. And it's amazing how he never moved away from that pool. He never stopped trying. So then one day when Jesus showed up, he says, do you want to be healed? That's how we can feel like sometimes in our situation. We're trying to find and hold on to faith and try our best. And sometimes we can't do it by ourselves. But then here comes Jesus coming by and he asked the man the question. And it's amazing how the man was saying, well, I, the water's not stirred yet. I, I try to get there, Lord. I, sir, I try to make it, but I simply can't be the first one. And at that moment, Jesus said, you were healed and go. So think about a situation in your life where you've been holding on for faith for a long time, that you've been trying, but nothing seems like it works. The enemy would love to tell us that it will never happen, but this is the time we have to hold on to faith and know that in his word, God said he never, he's never dropped a promise, that he's never turned back on a promise. He's never broken it. He cannot. God is not a man that he can lie. When God says something, it's going to happen. We don't know when the timing is going to be, but that's when we need to activate our faith to fill that gap. And I just love the word that makes Tony part four. So in our situation, you have to remember to hold on to the faith that yes, there's going to be a period of time. It could be a day, a week, a month, years. Do not let anyone discourage you. Do not be discouraged yourself, but to hold on and know that when God moves, he will move. And that situation will come forth. If it's healing, the healing's coming. If it's, if it's financial breakthrough, it's coming. If it's for unsaved loved ones, hold on to the faith that God will see it to them and they'll draw them back in. Amen. So let's go ahead and close in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. Lord, I thank you right now, Lord. I thank you, Lord Father, for just holding on to your promises, Lord Father, for not being like a man who would lie, for, but you're only the one who speaks truth, Lord Father. So, Lord, I just thank you, Lord Father. I ask and pray, Lord Father, that everyone in the sound of my voice, Lord, continues to hold on in faith, Lord Father. That let the faith fill the gap, that your promises will come through, Lord Father. Your word will come forth, Lord Father. That we just hold on and believe in who you say you are, Lord Father. And, Lord Father, we give you the praise right now for the things that will come through, Lord Father. That those promises that will be fulfilled, Lord. And we know, Lord Father, no matter how long the time has been, when it's come through, we know it will be worth it. So, Lord Father, keep us throughout the rest of this week, Lord Father. Continue, Lord, to keep us grounded in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. You have a wonderful week and take care.